Last week, I had another viral tweet, and all it said was HTML on a CDN. Here it is. HTML on a CDN. Hundreds across the board. This is obviously a screenshot from Lighthouse because HTML is incredibly fast. When you put it around the world on a CDN, it's insanely fast. So you're telling me that you didn't install 25 packages and sign up with seven different SAS for this? Vroom, vroom. I love this game. And of course, somebody's mad about it, right? So what does that have to do with accessibility, best practices, or SEO? And it's only one matter of performance. HTML on a CDN doesn't prevent bloat in the HTML. I can guarantee that most of your problems when it comes to performance are not due to bloat in the HTML. It's it's definitely JavaScript. It's It's always JavaScript. The tweet did so well that I decided to expound on it. If you ever see frameworks claiming that their framework is performant, remember they simply cached HTML on a CDN. Their framework isn't actually running. They used a framework to generate some HTML and put it on the CDN. That is the fastest way that you can deliver a website. And so, of course, if you see a framework benchmark and you see hundreds across the board, guarantee they're showing you an unauthenticated user, no dynamic data. It is HTML output that they've loaded on the CDN and distributed across the world. I understand the criticism, but the end result is great for users. Yeah, I was definitely not criticizing anyone. All I was saying is that it's a silly benchmark to say my framework can generate HTML. Look how fast my HTML loads off a CDN. So this guy, I, I love this. My favorite stack, my stack will live yours. My stack requires no maintenance, has perfect lighthouse scores, will never have security vulnerability, is based on open standards, is portable. It's not LAMP, WordPress, Rails, Mean, Jamstack, not SSR, SSG, etc. My stack is HTML and CSS. And because my source is in Git, push to GitHub, GitHub Pages is my host. I love this. This is, this is great. So this person says, does that mean I should try to keep to HTML only? And yeah, my point was that frameworks like Astro, Next, SvelteKit, SolidStart, Nuxt, all have the ability to generate HTML and put it on a CDN and lazy load interactive features. So JavaScript is going to load later and that's why they can get the 100, 100 you know, performance benchmark. Once you get there, it'll be fast. You could do this with PHP, Go, Ruby, et cetera. But the industry kind of goes in circles. So we went from shoving every possible thing in the client with uh, spas. And we realized that spas are not great for, you know, SEO sites, for startup times, et cetera. And so we're starting to add this server-side rendering capability. Yeah, anyways. And then this person said, you still have templates that need to be interpreted using PHP, right? So should how would someone achieve the same performance? I said, cache the output. Varnish has been doing that since 2006. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it's great. We all should be striving to the point where we can put our output no matter what. If you like Next, if you liked SvelteKit, if you like any framework, my point is, that's great. It's awesome. At the end of the day, you should strive to put your HTML on a CDN so it's loading from as close to the user as possible, no matter where they are in the world. And uh, it's fast. So that that is where we're all going. We're all striving towards and having the least amount of JavaScript loaded on the client as possible and load that stuff later. So any interactivity, make sure that you are writing as little JavaScript as possible or, or bundling as little JavaScript as possible as well as lazy loading that functionality later. That is the entire point of the tweet in this video is that if you output HTML, you load that on a CDN, that is the fastest way possible to deliver a website to your user, to deliver any type of web experience to your user. We should all be striving for that. And I'm glad that the industry is kind of opening up to that and, and allowing these frameworks to easily generate HTML and deploy things from the server. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll leave a like, subscribe, comment if you want me to do more of these. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Peace.